Thursday, and I made my um, yes, got up, <laughs> got off of work, and came home and took a nap. So kind of messy. Um, I'm making turkey, um, and stuffing. And I didn't buy gravy, but I figured, you know what? Let me try to make some gravy. I got some beef broth and maybe some flour. Why not? Make some gravy. We're going to have green beans on the site. Now, the turkey is leftover turkey that I made a while back. You know, I froze it. So we're going to eat that. And I'm going to get this started. Um, so I'll show you all the process. Okay, my turkey was still a little bit frozen, so I had to like defrost it a little bit. I would have put it in the fridge this morning before I went to work. It was still frozen. Go lay down. This dog is still being trained, not to be bothering me, not cooking. Just gonna make the rest of it all up. I saw little fit in home, but I'm gonna cook it all up. Everybody wants leftovers tomorrow to can, but everybody in this house is not that big on turkey. But I know it's all good, and I am trying to use it more often in our diet. So, trying to get creative. This is not that creative, I understand, but easy. Okay, I'm gonna get everything else started. Right back. So, I have my beef broth in this pot. I got the butter and water going for the stuffing. I'm just gonna add some flour and like whisk this together and start heating it up. So Let's see how this comes out. This is how it looks. I don't know if you can see it. Okay, so I'm gonna heat this up now. Whisk it together, add a little bit of water. So flour, water, and beef broth. Sorry, my fan is on, but here is the turkey. Fried it up both sides. Alright, so I'm going to finish everything else. I'm going to add a little bit too much flour to that gravy, so I'm going to add, I luckily I have some beef open left, so I'm going to add some. I'm going to add a little bit of salt and pepper too. I'm going to add a little bit of dark so hold it a lot better. Both. Okay, this is done. Try it. The dog's sitting here waiting for me to drop some. This one, I can't flip it over like the other one. I could. <sighs> I might get a better pull later and give this one to my daughter. <laughs> it's actually not bad. He's kind of salty. Maybe I should have put the salt in there. I just was like, you know what? I have some beef broth. Let me see if I can just make some ground gravy with that. Need some more practice. Stuffing's okay, but I added a little bit too much water again. Even though I didn't think I did, I still did. This was a cheap round. I put some uh, tahini powder on my green beans as I cooked them. I think I did put tahini on green beans once before and I didn't care for it. I don't know why I did it again, but it's okay. It's like kind of sour. <sighs> what do you use on your green beans? Kind of seasons or do you use any seasoning at all i know some people just use butter so just stick to butter i just put it in the microwave that's all usually i'll put it in the pan pot and, you know let it cook that way but i only have three burners i was using all three um so tomorrow is fried chicken so, I will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow's Friday. All right, I'm making some fried food, so I'm making fried chicken. Got my chicken legs here. 
There's about five in each pack, so that'd be ten. First, I got a couple eggs I need to use. I got some pink gold crispy breadcrumbs I'm going to try using. I'm going to add a little bit of paprika to it. Some onion salt and some garlic salt. This is just my own thing. I'm just, I didn't do the shake and bake because you have to bake it. That's what I call it. It's called shake and bake. I don't know why I was thinking you could fry it, but I like the coating on it. So one time I'm going to put it in the oven. Got some Crisco. Crisco is supposed to be good for chicken. So I got that. <clears throat> and now I've had these in my pantry for a while. And it's Queen, Cuna, Queena. I cannot pronounce it. Queena and brown rice blend. I'm not sure how you say that word, I'll forget. This is just microwavable, and we haven't had it yet, so I was like, let's just try it. So we'll have that. I have some broccoli that I got from the Pooh Pantry today, the mobile fresh one. So I'm gonna use that broccoli. And then we have these oranges too, so we'll have oranges on the side if anybody wants oranges. So that's dinner tonight. Um, I got the chicken. Um, I believe, yeah, I bought it from a little grocery outlet a while back. It was the reduced um, quick sale, so I got a dollar off. So all together, I think I spent five bucks maybe on both of those together. I had to buy the Crisco. It was like four something. I had to buy this. I believe this was like two something. I had this. These eggs. Actually, I got from the food pantry last Friday, so I still have some of those left. And of course, my seasonings I already had. So dinner tonight, it's going to cost me about, let's say $10. $10. What I had to buy for dinner tonight, though, was um, $7. Maybe $7. Yeah, let's say 7 So maybe a little over $10 if I would buy the chicken today. I already have the chicken on hand. So I'm just going to say that dinner was $7 because everything else I already have. This is about cleaning my pantry. That's what this is about. So, okay. So that's what I'm doing. I'm using what I have in my pantry instead of going out and buying a whole bunch of stuff. You know, using up what I have. Okay, so I'm going to start getting this ready and I'll show you the process. Okay, I'm just going to add some of this crinkle stuff into a bowl. Let's see if I need more or not. Put that to the side. I'm gonna add some paprika. salt, add some garlic, mix this up, my hands are clean, I just washed them, Ooh, got a good whiff of that garlic, Ooh. start with three. I might have to make more. Now I need to start getting my oil hot. I haven't done that and should have done that already. Hopefully I can make this chicken come out really good. I have a hard time making fried chicken. I'm like I want it crispy and I can't do it. So wish me luck. Okay I'll be right back. So I have all the batter and the egg going, so I got my oil cooking hot.
It's not really sticking to the chicken like I like it to. Lay down, bear. If anybody has any like good fried chicken recipes, can you share it with me? Of course, it was a secret, mountain secret recipe, and I understand that. Oh, I just want to make some good fried chicken for once. It's sticking, I added more egg, and now it's still not sticking. Oh Lord. We'll see how this comes out. <laughs> Watch me love. Okay, so it didn't come out that bad, but it didn't come crispy. What I did, I just added the batter to the pan so we can just have some crispiness because the flavor is really there. So I added more flavor. And so it's really hot. I'm going to take a bite of everything else. Of course, I may slice up some more of this room if they want some. I just fry stuff. I got a little bit of batter in the rice is why you can crispy. That's alright. I'm gonna go buy it. Chicken's actually good. And so if anybody has good recipes for fried chicken out there, please share that with me. Appreciate it. Tell me what's the secret of making crunchy chicken. It's the batter staying on the chicken while it's cooking and not making it. The way I made it kind of reminds me of my aunt what she made hers. Which isn't bad. I think this is the best chicken I made yet. Which is sad. It's 
Tomorrow's macaroni and cheese and fish. It's a creamy macaroni cheese recipe we haven't had yet. It's going to go in the oven and eat something new. I don't know. Not really new, new, but it's a new type of macaroni cheese we haven't had yet. So that's what we're doing tomorrow on Saturday. See you tomorrow.